Good morning guys and welcome to another day here in Lima, Peru. Today we're leaving Lima though. We are heading to the airport very shortly and we are going to get a plane to another part of the country, a very beautiful part of the country. I'm really excited to get out and see some nature and also this city that's located in amongst the mountains. Hasta luego. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. Gracias, amigo. Hasta luego. Hola. Gracias. Hola. Gracias. Los agentes personales deben estar debajo del asiento enfrente. Hola. Gracias. Hola. Gracias. Nos vamos. Nos vamos. Alright guys, so we just uh, landed in Cusco. I couldn't get any clips out the side of the plane because I was in an aisle seat, but there were the most beautiful panoramic views of all the mountains around here at Cusco. I'm not sure of the exact elevation, but we're sitting above 3,000 meters right now above sea level. You can feel the altitude a little bit, so we'll probably acclimatize for today, and tomorrow we'll go for some adventures up in the mountains, but I'm gonna get the drone up and show you guys just how beautiful this place is, because I've only been here two minutes, and it's up there with some of the most beautiful places I've been. This this Airbnb here is such a good deal. It's got a nice punching bag to let out your rage as well if you want that. This Airbnb is costing a little under 20 US dollars, maybe 18 US dollars for two people. It's got a double bed upstairs and then it's got this fold out couch uh, for Joe to sleep on, my mate. I'll give you a little tour, but first, uh, let's get the drone up and just have a look at this uh, stunning city. Booyakaka! So it is the following day. Hope you enjoyed those drone shots. As you can see, we're in an absolutely stunning setting. Today, we're just kind of acclimatizing because as I said yesterday, we're at 3,400 meters above sea level, which is just under the height of the tallest mountain in New Zealand. So uh, we're pretty high right now and you can definitely feel it in the altitude. So we're just going to kind of explore around the, the city today of Cusco. It's beautiful. We've had a little look around. We're gonna go up uh, a smallish mountain and uh, just show you the, the streets of the city because it's uh, absolutely stunning as you can see. Let's get on with the day. Um, take it easy, acclimatize, and uh, see what Cusco has to offer. As you can see, epic views there. It's pretty tiring, seeing as we just flew in straight to this altitude, normally you should acclimatize. If we were to get the bus, it would have taken like over 20 hours, so we decided to give that, that a miss, but we walked up the hill here. You can go further up, but we think we'll save that for tomorrow. We don't want to push it too much and uh, kind of ease, ease into the activities. But we're gonna head back down into the city now and uh, see what else we can come across.
Hey guys. No, up here. Hey, welcome to the crib. Alright guys, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a house tour of this Airbnb and share with you the absolute bargain it is. It's the following day from the last clips after we walked up that hill. We went back into the city and we had a bit of Mexican food and uh, recovered from the uh, acclimatization. We're slowly getting used to it. That was our first full day here so we wanted to uh, you know, do, do a bit of exercise but uh, not exert ourselves too much. We are leaving this Airbnb now sadly because there was only two nights available on this one but we have another one that we're going to be walking to shortly, like three kilometers away or something. But I just wanted to show you this little loft style apartment here because it's a pretty cool little spot so I'll take you for a tour around the uh, apartment now. So this is the kitchen area here, pretty nice little equipped kitchen. Uh, this is Joe here. Hello. There's the door where we entered before and you looked up and saw me on the top. Got the punching bag here. Then this little uh, fold out couch area. Joe actually set up his hammock across here so that's where he slept. Little bathroom in the corner there and then let's go upstairs. So nice big mirrors here. Another fold out couch. So you can have like four people staying here if you want to. Double bed. And so I slept with the view of Cusco out the window. Pretty beautiful. And then a massive TV. Like this thing is gigantic. We didn't use that. You know, it's there if you wanted to. And then back down to the bottom there. Airbnb in Peru so far is incredibly cheap for what you get. It's it's really interesting because you go to restaurants and things prices are a bit more expensive than like for example Southeast Asia But the accommodation is cheaper. So it's like, you know, kind of levels out it's, it's reasonably cheap to travel here surprisingly I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive, but pleasantly surprised here So now we'll take about a, a three kilometer walk through the streets again of Cusco to our new place and this new place guys It's super luxurious and it only costs a little bit more than this, but you like you can't even imagine what this place looks like for how much it costs. So uh, let's head there now and we'll, we'll have a look at that. One thing twice. just got here this Whoa. house is incredible let me give you a tour the value I really don't understand how the price of this is what it is let me show you around all right guys so this is the main living room kitchen area the kitchen is like this really nice like wood style with nice tiles on the floor and then we've got this antique furniture in the background let me take you for a walk down to the the bedroom there's three bedrooms here check it out but here's the kitchen here Absolutely beautiful and the views out the front window here big mountain views come into the living room Joe's just doing a bit of light reading and here we have another big view out the front here and That's the nice street there fireplace. I saw some firewood and come down the hallway here Nice bathroom bedroom one bedroom Number two, and then through here is the master bedroom. There's an ensuite. And nice double bed there. And then looking out again over the mountains there. So this is costing, I think maybe like 15 USD a night each. I really don't understand that. Like that just seems incredibly cheap. So yeah, $15 a night each for this whole place. I got it using my referral credit on Airbnb, thanks to you guys. So this isn't costing me anything, but uh, if you guys want to stay in Airbnbs like this, use the link below and you can get like 30 to 40 US dollars off your booking. So definitely worth it. Then we're going to head to the supermarket now and get some food 
and uh, I'll check back in with you soon. All right guys, so it is several hours later. It's dark outside. After I talked to you last, it rained super hard. We went to the supermarket, got some supplies because we're gonna be in this house for a few more nights yet. My buddy Joe, he has passed out. He is uh, sleeping. The altitude really hit him hard because he basically flew in to Lima all the way from Canada, which was like a 36 hour journey altogether because of the layovers. And then we flew straight here. So he's just been getting thrashed and also just flying into 3,400 meters with no acclimatization will uh, get the better of you. As you can see from this video, it's been a bit messy, over spread over a few days. Just getting settled here in this beautiful city of Cusco. Tomorrow, we're gonna go for some sick adventures. We're gonna go and try and find uh, some mountain to climb, weather permitting, hopefully it plays our way. We're gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. Uh, it's getting quite late. I've just spent maybe four hours editing. I hope you enjoyed the video. A bit random, like I say, but some of you guys like seeing the accommodation I think it's cool to share with you, especially the price for this. I mean, look at the antique furniture and stuff. Like you end up in these places for these prices and you're just wondering how is this possible? But you know, this is uh, traveling as a lot of you guys know. It's cheaper to be on the road, depending on where you're from, than to stay at home and uh, pay rent and things. Enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.